So what's under the tree? Oh, we have a domino. Despite being criticized to the point of ostracization by the members of Gloria's Science Academy and just generally everybody hates me, I'm gonna persist in my theories. I've accumulated many years of research and investigated the, uh, a tale riddled with darkness and magic. So is that the guy who's creating the Ravenhurst Museum? He seems a little crazy. I better remember those numbers are symbols. Yeah, those aren't numbers, those are symbols. Well, we've got two dominoes. The dominoes go over here for a puzzle. So with this puzzle, we want to find the dominoes. So zero, zero, uh, it has to be there. That's the only place we can possibly have a zero, zero. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I think there's only one place where we can have a zero, four. Oh, there are two places we could have a zero, four. Hmm, so that's kind of tricky. Let's see, is there a, there's a one, one. So there's only one place that can be. It's like that. Okay, okay. What about 4-5? Do we have a 4-5 somewhere? Yeah, we could have a 4-5 here or a 4-5 there. It's sort of like guessing. This puzzle's a lot like guessing. Let's see. Okay, so this has... We have no 0-6, right? There's no 0-6 domino. Therefore, this is a 0-4. Okay, so that's that's one way. We know there's no zero six, so that's not here or here. So this domino with the blank space must be there. I mean, this has to be like that. Hey, we we've got more dominoes down. Uh, looks like we've only got two blank spaces. It's a zero three and a zero one, right? So this is the only one that could be a zero three. But zero one, it could be either one of those two. So we, we don't know for certain yet. We don't know for certain. Well, this four can't go next to four because there's no four four. Right? So it's gonna have to be 4-5 here. Meaning this 4 has to be a 4-3. Good, good. Making progress. So this 5 has to be next to 1 because there's only one thing it's touching. So do we have a 6-1 or a 6-3? Uh, looks like we've got both of those. Okay, 5-1 or 5-3. Five, five, no 5-1, so it's a 5-3 and a 6-1 there. So meaning this is a 4-1. Um, that's a zero one, because there's only one thing with the zero, and then those last two dominoes go like that. Got it. Kind of long puzzle, and it gives us a hidden objects challenge. Which is going to be kind of a long hidden objects challenge, actually. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can start finding some items. There's a plunger. Hooray. Uh, the plunger is going to be used here. You turn off the sink, use the plunger. We've got two things here. Uh... This is very rusty, and then we need uh, some sort of corkscrew to get rid of that. Victor's favorite toys. Junk! 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 Gosh, my son had so much junk. Okay, so find the thing. So a six of clubs. And what's this? An eyeball. Yeah, and then a tape measure. And then a syringe. And this gives us an awl. So we're going to use the awl and uh, the meat tenderizer we just got to open up this drawer. Hey, that gives me a code. 4562. 4, 5, 6, and 2. Okay, so now I've got a box knife in addition to a crowbar. Use the crowbar twice here. Giving you a V. The V is going to go over here. Victor Dalimar, no doubt. Uh, this gives me rust remover. Great. I'll use the rust remover on this oily thing. That's half of an item we're looking for. Alrighty. I'm going to need that. What else is there for me to interact with? Let's see. We need a way to open that. That's going to be our overall goal. I'll use a hint here. Oh, oh, I can cut this stuff. Okay, I did not see that was a thing that I could do. So, uh, the drawer tile. That gives us a drawer tile, giving us a puzzle. You want to recreate the picture? Looks like it's going to be a picture of a, a shipwreck. Huh? There's a solution. Okay, that gives me a corkscrew. Going to use a corkscrew here. For a heart, use a heart in the drawer. 
for the second half of the lock part. Great. So the lock is fixed. Now we can open up this for an axe. Great. And that's the item we were looking for. We were looking for an axe so we could smash this to pieces and visit Ravenhurst. Let's see what the new owners are trying to hide. Can't believe somebody bought Ravenhurst and tried to make it a museum. Oh, and these gates. They've got the Ravenhurst gates. They're back. Ugh. Okay, so this is an item and this is a puzzle. Kind of a simple puzzle. Uh, let's see. The solution is heart, club, heart. Good evening, and welcome to the Ravenhurst Museum. With whom am I speaking? Hi, I'm the Master Detective. I'm here to stop your evil plans. Benedict, tell them to come back another time. We're closed. Well, that was a conversation filled with love. The residence is rebuilt as the true key to eternal love. Ex Cenarius Resurgum! I will rise from the ashes. I think that's what it means. Okay, we have a ring. And, oh, uh, man, I'm going to need some duct tape to fix that. Let's see. This is creepy. It's like a screaming statue lady. Definitely, definitely creepy. Definitely creepy. Okay. So let's go back here. Maybe I missed something. There's the duct tape. And what's this? It's just a board. Oh, it's not. It's a metal box. These two typewriter keys open it. Son, you know how fond I am of educational presents. I hope you put this to good use. Don't let your wonderful talent for violence go to waste. Charles! Charles has very bizarre ideas about parenting. Yeah, and he gave his son this boxing glove gun, which is not a nice toy. No. No, it's not. Okay, so now that we have the uh, adhesive tape, we can fix that. Whoa! Who's this? Okay, somebody's caught us. My apologies, but the museum is not yet open to guests. We're in the final stages of construction. It's no place for someone who doesn't remember history. Hey, I remember history. Who are you again? Hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling that lady's a villain. A rather cryptic conversation. But hey, if she's not letting me in, I'll just break in. Okay, I'm going to steal these things from the statue. A light hose model and a, a railing piece. So the railing piece is going to go over here with the rope. Now I can get this doll hand. That's creepy. Inside the hand are the two trolls. Now we can open up the part of this Enigma box that Alistair left for us. We are the trolls, and these are our tricks. Count the ten of us, but then count to six, three by three, and without the last four, know the reds are rotten to the core. So I think that means we get rid of the, the purple ones. Then we get rid of the green ones. Okay, next level of his Detective, enigma box. The trolls lead you one step closer to the truth. Don't give up yet. Alistair Dalimar is a villain. I don't intend to stop until I get to the bottom of this mess. An angel fallen from grace guards my gates. In silence she screams for all the lost fates. Her sorrow is great, yet she knows no relief. My gates shall open with the end of her grief. When the tears of black stream from her eyes, the path shall be open. Claim your prize. And then here, I think we have a, a puzzle. We're, we're trying to fix the Ravenhurst Manor. I think that's going to be our next puzzle there. Let's let's help this poor woman, shall we? The black ink uh, fuels this puzzle. And this is going to be a long, complicated puzzle. Yeah, a multi-part puzzle. Let's see. Uh, let's do this part first. So, uh, gather the moths and put them in the spider web. You can do them in pretty much any order you want. Although some of the puzzles are overlapping each other, right? So, okay, put the moss down. Once they're all down, the spider takes them away. And now we can see this puzzle, which it, it was covering. So, 
the solution is five in this corner, eight in the top corner, and then nine on the right. So it's a math puzzle. So, oh gosh, what what would it be to get five here? So if you have five, five, so what plus what equals five? Uh, let's go with two and... Let's go with two. So if it's two here, uh, and then it's three on the bottom, so that's five there, five, yeah. And then in order to have uh, this in the bottom right, we need this to be six, right? This need to be six. Got it. Two, three, and six. That gives us the numbers five, eight, and nine. Okay, we solved that puzzle. Hooray. It, it, it opened up this. This is a feather. Feather goes there. Let's see. Um, this is a slider puzzle. Sure, let's solve the slider puzzle. Okay, what you want to do is move these tokens around so they go in the right spot. So purple goes with purple. Yellow's going to have to go with yellow. So let's move all these things around to get yellow with yellow. Maybe that helps. And now we just have a circular thing. So let's see. Red there. Light blue there. Red there. Green there. Blue there. And then green there. Got it. Okay, that opens up the rest of this portrait and the feather. That gives me this leaf. This leaf goes here. So the puzzle is to press those things in the order they shook. So one, three, uh, two, four. This gives us this thing. So our goal is to uh, get the colors to match. So we want orange here, green there, and purple there. So orange is red and... Uh, yeah, orange is red and yellow. It can't be yellow here because that would put black on the bottom and black is not part of purple. So therefore red is going to have to go uh, over here. Red is going to have to go over there, leaving blue down here. So blue plus what equals purple? Well, that's blue plus red. Let's say blue plus red equals purple. So that means yellow's over here on the right. What plus yellow equals green? Blue. Okay, that gives me this. So this is for a dial puzzle. Let's just get all these dials set to the same thing. That makes it easier, honestly. So Raven, okay, so it looks like uh, the ones on the ends are correct. Oh, we got the two geckos. Oh, yeah, snake. Okay, so that one's got it, got it. So that gives us a snake eye. And these are pictures of various members of the uh, the Ravenhurst victims. Members of this this family, this family of maniacs. Especially Alice, Alistair Dalimar. The worst of them. And this puzzle's kind of a pain. So you need to rotate this ring left and right in order to get the snake eye at the bottom. There's a little hole at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, here we go. Now this is where we have to be extra careful. Yeah, you want to drop it there, but not too far. Okay, great. It fell out of the hole, giving us the final snake eye. And here you just want to click on the snake parts until we have an all red and black snake. That creepy red and black snake. Nice animation. I, I like it. It's really cool looking. Happy family. That is not a happy family, Alistair. Your creepy family is evil and I don't like them. I don't like your ancestral manor. Okay, so we're here at the manor. We finally made it through the gates. And now, we're at Ravenhurst. 